Hello everybody, it's been me here. Welcome today to um if Cuphead's gonna be an adult kid show or like I mean I can't say it right. Adult show or kid show, right? So let's do this. Has anyone come to you about doing an actual Cuphead animated series? There's no real Yeah, there's nothing things. that we're specifically talking to or doing currently. some Netflix news. It's been two years since the massively successful indie game Cuphead finally was released. The game, which had both critical and commercial success, left a lasting impact and grew a huge fan base. A fan base that was itching for more Cuphead content. And if you know anything about Cuphead, you know that it takes a long time to make anything Cuphead. So fans knew it would take a while before we got another game or anything like that. However, we just got word on some pretty exciting news about a Cuphead cartoon. Netflix is working with King Features Syndicate to bring a full-length Cuphead television series to Netflix. No the animated series will be called The Cuphead Show, exclamation point, because they're excited. And the show will reportedly expand on the characters in the world of the game. The creators of the game, Chad and Jared Moldenhauer, will serve as executive producers and has some other big animation names attached to it, like CJ Kedler from Carmen San Diego. The actual series, King's Feature Syndicate, is a pretty big name in animation. They currently own the rights to comic properties like Garfield, Popeye, and even Archie. Not the moody TV show, you know, like the animated version and honestly i couldn't think of a better company behind this show or That's a better awesome of this game if it was going to be any other medium cuphead should be a cartoon mm. the game itself consists of hand-drawn animation the whole thing's just a giant love letter to 1930s cartoons the whole game is just one long playable cartoon thankfully they are actually doing this show justice in the animation department it'll feature the same 1930s style animation that made cuphead so cool and unique and the animation will be hand-drawn though unfortunately Unfortunately, it won't entirely be on paper this time, and it will be handled by Netflix's animation department, Dang. not MDHR. That's awesome. The creators jokingly uh, hey, said, we're not going old. to be animating this ourselves because it would never right, be finished. Be right back. Sorry, I tried to sneeze, so it didn't work. But then he goes on to say, the current goal is to stay as far away from computer-assisted puppeteer animation as possible. The idea will still be that every frame is hand-drawn, but probably not on paper. It's going to be hand-drawn, but digitally. Traditional, he calls it. I think that's the best of both worlds in this scenario, because it's true, it would never get done if they did hand-drawn on paper. I'm just relieved that they're not going for some flash animation route. That would be the absolute worst possible option. The yeah, animation quality of Netflix yeah. television really is on a spectrum. Sometimes you have Hilda, sometimes you have Big Mouth. It's really a mixed bag, but I'm glad <laughs> they're putting the extra effort and time with this. The show is still I'm in the beginning process the voices and it has no now. release date as of yet. But we have a little bit of a description Just of tell what's us going about to be the like. Voices According to the press release, the character-driven comedy follows the unique misadventures of the impulsive Cuphead and his cautious but easily swayed brother Mugman. Through their many misadventures across their surreal home of Inkwell Isles, they've always got one another's backs. But that's right, this show will be a comedy, which makes a lot of sense because there's a lot of comedic elements in Cuphead. And I'm sure it won't be all jokes, but it's good to know that this is more lighthearted than just completely dark. According to the creators, when asked about the type of comedy in the show, it's safe for kids, but written so that there's also things that adults find funny and appeals to a wider audience. It's not a toddler show or a little kid's cartoon. They go on to talk about how they're aiming for the same kind of vibe that the game hints at, but just taking that idea and expanding on it. This truly is the best possible route they could have gone with, and I'm glad they're keeping it in this middle range of a wider audience, not the show for adults or the show for kids. Oftentimes, we see a show try to go too far in either direction, and it ends up being its Achilles heel. But the best shows stay right in the middle of that spectrum. And that's, I think, where Cuphead is going to be. Okay, let's grab sure these what the plot of the show is going to be right now. We know that we're not going to just retell the game. This is going to explore other things and not just don't deal with the devil. The game told its story. The cartoon will tell its own. Basically, they're saying don't expect the show and the game to fit together perfectly. They're going to be separate entities. I think this just keeps it cleaner and allows them to focus on two different projects in their own mediums without having to worry about how to interweave them or this would fit with the game so we can't do it. It just allows them to be as creative as possible with both properties. Finally, he talked about how the show will be rooted in very similar 1930s cartoons, citing Mickey Mouse as an inspiration, saying, I say it in a Mickey Mouse cartoon manner. In any given episode, Mickey Mouse could have been a pilot or selling hot dogs or a musician. There's not this intention that the two must mesh and fit together. So it seems like despite not having a real plot, they have an idea of what they want the show to look like, and it sounds amazing. They're bringing back this type of cartoon that really we don't see a lot anymore. There's the great Mickey Mouse shorts on Disney Channel, but I feel like this will be its own unique thing in sort of that vein. And the fact that they're 
citing Mickey Mouse as inspiration shows that they're trying to go for that similar aesthetic. These two have proven that they're incredible storytellers in the world of video games, and that will translate over incredibly well into animation. There's not too much more information on the series right now as it was just announced. Netflix has been absolutely killing it with animation, it always has, and it is genuinely the best streaming service for original like animation right now, now that there's a lot of competition. Regardless though, it's good to know that the project is highly anticipated. Is I really hope it was delayed to uh, until right October. I it's gonna be delayed until October, but uh, anyway, I gotta go. Uh, I'll talk to you about the Invasion Forms movie another time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.